I was, yeah, I was thinking of not keeping the Innervate. But I wanted to be able to Wrath on turn two, the Totem. Hmm. I'm definitely playing Merchant. I'm just thinking, do I just Innervate it? I should probably use Innervate as well, huh? Next turn we have two mana. We can have three mana. Yeah, I guess we use it. Because we can't play untapped and wrath anyways next turn. I'm just scared we can't kill Questing Adventure this way and Evil Totem. There's so many good wrath targets here. Let's save it. Uh, Fresh as hell isn't the best thing to do in turn four to pass one mana. I mean, it gives me armor, but I'd rather have the wrath potential to actually influence the board. So, I'm not going to cycle the wrath there. Kill three threes like this. Even. Two, three. Yeah, I don't think we uh we kill it. The sand I, since I don't have like nourish yet, I don't even have something with um a Nubisath. I guess that's Starfall, but that's like a reason to hold it if I'm gonna AoE anyways. I don't have the thing activated this turn, so we'll see. That was like a reason to kill something, I think, to make it harder for him to play this. I think you could have played it anyways, though. Hmm. Next turn, we can uh, Oasis that down. Don't worry about damaging it. We can say Wrath over four. Actually, you know what? We might Starfall next turn. It's because I didn't play Quest on turn one. This play sets up for the Starfall because it's 4 8 is not Starfall, but it's only 7 damage, so let's chip it down. Play the Blood Mage to cycle. My Starfall's not going to kill a 2-3, but that's Come dance to my song. relatively fine. Okay, so do we ever play Oasis here? Because there's two bad targets for Starfall. It does clear like 10 attack off the board. 
and it sets the two threes and three threes to one. So it has implications for his development next turn to play around another Starfall and Swipe. But I don't actually have those cards in my hand right now. I don't think I want a Moonfire because I believe we want to save the double Moonfire for 4x for Malagos. It's so much harder to get kills with one Moonfire duplicated. Is that ever a play to just Oasis these two? So we have five, five, two, five, three. No. Alright, good thing we can at least play a taunt. So I guess the implication there for the setup isn't really that relevant because you can always just trade in. But I mean, if he trades both then I'm actually pretty happy about it. There's a consideration to not play this minion if I had like another Starfall or Swipe. He has a bunch of lackeys in his hand. He just drew two sludge. Well, one sludge slurper, at least. Maybe questing explorer for lucky. Because here he played one. That's his only one drop, right? We know he has it in the Piper. <laughs> I just got the questing explorer like this. It's funny. Hopefully he drew the other questing explorer from this, because it's not that great after quest. Another board that I feel like. One man off from Nurse Swipe. Got a lot of cards in her hand too. Let's see. Swipe takes off uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 damage from board. Actually, if I swipe, I'd probably select the Evil Totem over the Questing Explorer. If we just um, play the Oasis, then we... Okay, so swipe removes five, six, seven, eight attack, whereas this removes three attack but develops me a board. He needs ten damage to kill me. I think I gotta take the risk here. My issue is I can I don't have a good next turn if I do swipe this turn because I can nourish swipe together. I think I might have wanted to use one moon fire here because hand size issues. I have nine cards, so I can't exactly even start with a nourish and swipe. Right, because I would draw to like one one more. If I moon fire I'd be at seven cards and eight cards, then I can nourish swipe. Yeah. But then it's okay. uh, I don't I don't I need to work on this deck. It's definitely new to me. Because it's kind of hard to win with one Moonfire against Shaman as well. Hey, Arson, how's it going? I think that's good for me. Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> this deck is not exactly a... very many spells. So he didn't have a wick. Cobalt Lackey or he would have killed me. I mean, we know because he just played all his lackeys, so... Yeah, that's pretty weak. Guess it worked out for us pretty well. If we used the Moonfire, how would we have won? I'm trying to think. Because we can... Dream Petal, Florist, or Mally goes to two mana and then do double Mally with the least for four mana, then swipe, then one Moonfire. I can still do two Moonfires and one swipe with two Mallys. That's uh, 10 spell power, three spells. Is that it? Oh, that's easily enough damage.
That's assuming that Dream Petal of the Mali, though. If I Dream Petal the Elise, then I can go Elise, Mali, Ghost, Moonfire, Moonfire. That line is pretty harsh for us because we only have one Moonfire. So if we did Dream Petal Elise, it'd be a disaster case scenario. That has so much value. Of course it's the right way. Okay, so he has wasp. I'm gonna write this down. Two wasp, two sludge slurper, and two um witchies. So awkward for me. This hand's too good. I don't think we have time. I think we need to go for it. Oh, we got so lucky. Malagos on the left. That was, that was a low chance for us, but that might have got us back into the game. Because next turn we Elise. I know we have a lot of cards, but what's important is we copy the two mana Maligos, right? And then we can go Maligos, Maligos, two Maligos for four mana, then swipe, moon, and it's whatever, Moonfire. In fact, I can even use swipe before. I have a two turn kill on him, I believe. Because with two. Mali ghosts. I need three spells to kill him just from the spell power. If I have two spells with no swipe, like two moon fires, it's not enough damage, right? It's uh, ten damage, eleven damage to each moon fire. So we need to survive one turn with the least, which is looking pretty rough, even. Actually, wait, can we just go Maligus right here with three spells? I don't think we survive with the least play. I could Mali swipe. Wait, I could go Elise, Mally, Mally. Elise? I have two slots, so I copy these two. And then Mally, Mally, three Moonfires. Oh, yeah, that is lethal. You guys are right. What a weird deck, huh? I think my decision to just YOLO the like the Dream Petal Force is right. Because this Brista was insane. I don't think we could have like continued to nourish that turn. That's only a what 33% chance though. I think I probably would have been screwed up hitting anything else. I'm not sure what would happen if we hit Elise. Zero mana Elise. 